Hey, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well. I really do hope that. Welcome back to the channel, Football Therapy. Listen to that motorbike, man. I'm doing an intro here. Welcome back to Football Therapy and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video, where I will be talking about three subjects. One being the official announcement of Hakim Ziyech's contract terms being agreed, the length and you know, what he's going to bring to the Chelsea team, so say if Marina Granovskaya, etc. Olivier Giroud could still be headed out to Italy at the end of this season, even though he didn't get the deal over the line. Apparently the door is still open at Inter Milan to hang out with ex-Chelsea boss Antonio Conte. And also, Mauro Accardi, his wife Wanda Accardi has been talking about what she usually does. She goes on TV shows and sort of talks, 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 talks. Apparently, he could be not staying at PSG. They could be potentially not activating the clause and he could be available to a few suitors, including Chelsea Football Club and Juventus. <laughs> That's a big story, I'll tell you what. I think about that. Pause, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, One Football. If like me, you're a football nerd and you want stats, football media, news, fixtures, results, all that gear, you have to head over and check out One Football, my friend. Everything you need in one place, consolidated in a lovely little neat bright package that gives you everything you need, whether it's Chelsea or football in general, go check out One Football. It is superb. I've stuck a link in the top of the description. Click it. Maybe wait to the end of the video, maybe open a tab now, whatever. But for now, let's get into the news. Right, let's start with Olivier Giroud. Or Giroud, no D, no D. Giroud obviously has been in a difficult place throughout the January period. He thought he was going, everyone told him he was going. He wasn't playing, so he wasn't really match fit, but he thought he was going to go and, you know, do a medical, go to Italy, go play football somewhere, play in the Euros. Duh, 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 duh. He didn't go. We all know the story. I think, in a way, secretly, he might be happy for the moment because he does love living in London. Obviously, he got his start in the Premier League, scored a goal, his big smiles, his family's in London. If you might think, oh, I might get just enough game time here at Chelsea to see me play in the summer, and he'd probably preference that before he starts a new journey next season, because Chelsea probably, well, they won't give him a new contract. Now, he was out the door, he had personal terms agreed with Inter, and I think Lazio as well, and although it couldn't go over the line, apparently I've heard rumblings that although Chelsea couldn't get a replacement, that they were actually happy to still let Giroud go. Um, I know Frank Lampard kept changing his tune on that, but apparently he was out the door with a potential replacement going the other way, just rumblings um, it didn't happen but he's been he's maintained a professional demeanor Giroud and I think he's still happy to go and link up with Antonio Conte at Inter who is indeed interested in bringing him in a bit more I mean, Giroud does offer something different to both Lautaro and Lukaku so I can see why he'd won him and yeah they'd get him on a free Italian clubs love that. So that's Giroud. Now, Hakim Ziyech, we know the deal was agreed between the two clubs and both clubs announced it, which is pretty big before you've actually penned anything. But you know, it happens in football. They announced it, but now they've taken a step further and the contract terms have been agreed between Chelsea Football Club and Hakim Ziyech. Ziyech will be signing a five year deal with Chelsea, um, which would see him about into his 30s, I think 30, 31 ish. And that's great news. It's, you know, I thought maybe it might be a four year contract, but I like the idea of a five year contract. It's completely getting his feet under the table, settling down in London for the long term and being part of this big project. Chelsea published something on their website where they had a statement about Ziyech, quotes from him, Granoskaya. Here it is, it says, it was announced earlier this month that a deal had been reached with IX for the 26 year old's signature, subject to the player agreeing personal terms. Now he's agreed personal terms. On agreeing those terms, Ziyech said, I am delighted and proud to have signed for such a huge club as Chelsea. I'm looking forward to next season and hope we can achieve great things together. Chelsea director Marina Granovskaya added, We are delighted Hakim will be joining us in the summer, having been a key target for the club in the last window. He's consistently been one of the most dangerous attacking players in Europe for years. 
which we saw firsthand in the last two games against Ajax in the Champions League. We wish Hakim and Ajax all the best for the rest of the season and looking forward to him at Stamford Bridge in the summer. Lovely, him saying nice things, Grand of Sky saying nice things, what you'd expect. The link for the deal is really, really important, but you know, we all know what he'll bring. He's got a sweet left foot, he can cut inside. He's basically going to be replacing Iron Robin. <laughs> I saw an article somewhere and you've got to forgive me for not citing, or was that a tweet? I think it might have been a tweet. Regardless, I'm really sorry that I can't cite the source here, but I saw on the internet someone said, look, don't think Hakim Siege is a replacement for Eden Hazard. Think of him as a replacement of Iron Robin, that sort of hole that's been left for years and years and years at Chelsea. That sweet left foot that can always cut inside, you know, superb dead ball specialist, absolutely brilliant. Pulisic is probably closer to Eden Hazard in terms of keeping the ball really close to his feet and dribbling around the area. Superb and different options for Chelsea Football Club. It's getting exciting. When you think about how things are going to be built next season, if you just take a breath, hopefully get into the Champions League, let Lampard spend some money and just see it develop, see it develop. You know, there's a feel good factor there. Everyone knows what they're doing to a degree. All right, I got itchy beard. Right, Mauro Cardio. <laughs> You all know Akadi, right? So this has been the headlines over the last sort of 18 hours, right? Think, okay, so Akadi, before I talk to you about him, I never wanted a I never wanted Akadi throughout these recent years. Like Akadi is an amazing poacher. He's an amazing goal scorer. I'm not sure he's exactly what Frank Lampard wants because he'd uh, I'm not sure he'd do the work great. Um, he's very much just a goal scorer. He's just a goal scorer. Now you could argue Chelsea just just need a goal scorer, but that really is what he is. Um, he's scored an immense amount of goals in Italy and Serie A for Inter Milan. And in Inter Milan, it's not that great. Not this Inter of now. Um, you know, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, he scored 29 league goals. And he generally was in the 20s. He became captain of Inter in his like early mid 20s. Um, but the thing is, the dude's trouble, man. He's an abrasive sort of character, kind of. He wrote his book that he got all the Inter Ultras turning on him and they all turned up at his house to fight him because he said he'd fight the Ultras. Really, really strange and peculiar stuff. Obviously, his wife, Wanda Riccardi, there's some controversy how he sort of hooked up with her in the first place. Uh, she's his agent, yet she's very much like a media wag. Talks on TV all the time about like him and saying the wrong thing and like she was digging out Inter constantly. Just loads of drama. Loads of trouble. Antonio Conte got to Inter and was like, nah, don't want any of this. Kind of a la Diego Costa at Chelsea. He saw someone he didn't want to work with and basically the moment he arrived in Milan, he was like, nope, this guy, I'm not interested in him at all. So it left Inter in a peculiar place. Obviously, he got Lautaro and Lukaku. He's very happy with them. Inter, um, in, yeah, Inter loaned out uh, Akadi to PSG and they've got the first refusal on his... Um, on a contract, a full-time contract, uh, a permanent contract is what I'm trying to say. But obviously the player and his wife have to agree to that and there potentially might be other options. So publications like 424 and really respectable ones like the Daily Mail have been reporting on this. Chelsea are reportedly eyeing a summer move for Maro Icardi with the forwards wife Wanda set to play a big part of any future transfer. Like I said, she seems to be at the face of everything. The Argentinian's time at Inter Milan looks to be up with manager Antonio Conte favoring the partnership of Lukaku and Lutaro this season. The duo of a combined 38 goals in all competitions is pretty neat as Inter attempts to challenge a dominant Juventus for a Serie A title and Scudetto. As a result, Icardi was shunted, shunted out alone to Paris Saint-Germain and with Edison Cavani set to leave the French Giants when his contract expires at the end of the season, it was widely assumed that PSG would activate the 65 million euro brackets, 54 million pounds option to make the move permanent for a prolific young goal scorer. That's actually really cheap, but like I said, attitude problem. There's a reason why people weren't trying to buy a Cardi in the summer when Conte was like, I don't want him, someone buy him, someone buy him, someone buy him. I think everyone knows about that stink. Anyway, however, FC Inter News are reporting that a deal is not as simple as it might appear with a Cardi and his wife both having to agree to the move for the clause to be activated. It's like almost like he agrees, she doesn't agree. She's like, no, you're going to Paris. I don't want to. No, you're going. The report goes on to reveal that Chelsea, Real Madrid, and Juventus are interested in signing the... He's 27 now. Damn, I always thought of him as a 24-year-old. Uh, and the clause in Icardi's contract means they do not have to worry about PSG's 
first refusal that he can go wherever the wife wants him to go. So, yeah. I know what you might be thinking. £54 million for an absolutely prolific European striker. He's got a bunch of goals this season and he scored like five in the Champions League. They're not even in the Champions League anymore. But really, with Frank Lampard and Frank Lampard's Chelsea, it's all about this sort of feel-good, camaraderie, feel-good project. And no matter how good Icardi is, say Chelsea, you know, Chelsea are creating an immense amount of chances every game, putting the ball in the area, you'd feel like, oh, just drop Icardi in there. Bang, 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 bang. Goals, goals everywhere. Sounds good, right? And maybe if I'm not that expensive either but no not for me ladies and gentlemen I feel like he what he brings around him there's a certain level of toxicity that we do not want at Chelsea Football Club and it doesn't help what Frank Lampard is trying to build so I can see him either going to PSG or Juventus personally but there's probably been an inquiry for Chip from Chelsea as that's what they usually do but anyway what do you guys think let me know what you think about Akadi coming to Chelsea obviously this like elite marksman people just say oh just just go and buy Akadi but for me, do you agree with me? Let me know what you think. Get down in the comment section below. Express your thoughts and opinions on all this. Giroud to Inter, what do you think about that? How many goals and assists is Hakim Ziyech going to get next season? Just get down there. I'll be reading. And if you have enjoyed the content, please do like the video. That helps me out a lot. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, on both Instagram and Twitter. I'm out, guys. Enjoy the football. I'll see you later. Way so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I let me be.